Tonight, we begin with a health crisis that is sweeping across Nakuru County. Eight people are admitted in hospital, whilst one child was declared dead following a swine flu outbreak in Elementaita in the Gilgil -Gil area. Health officials are yet to establish the cause of the H1N1 flu outbreak that has seen 142 people from the Elementaita ward receive treatment in a span of one month. Marianne Yambura now reports. Kiptangwan Health Center in Gilgil constituency. The isolation ward has seen an influx of patients displaying H1N1 flu-like symptoms in recent weeks, following an outbreak of the virus last month. <laughs> Seven children below the age of five are admitted to this facility with swine flu-like symptoms. Esther Mwangi's four-month-old baby girl is one of the victims. <laughs> Akona miezi inne na alikuwa nikitoka nyumbani alikuwa na joto na alikuwa nalia sana 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 tukakuja hapa mtoto akawekwa kwa pumps for about 8 hours health reports say children below 12 months are the hardest hit a total of 86 out of the 142 cases reported accounting for 61.4 percent Lucy Muturi, a grandmother of two boys who are on treatment, says the cause of the outbreak is a mystery to her. About two weeks ago, one week, the mother and dad are here. They are here and the baby is here. They are here and they are here. They are here and they are here. In less than 24 hours, this facility has admitted four new patients with similar symptoms. Though the number of admissions has slightly reduced from 15 patients a day, health officials say the flu has spread across the eight villages in Elementaita ward. The number of patients wanted to receive, kuna several from Kijiji ele na zakubuka trisi wala ametupatia ele namba ikoju kidogo ni Makongo na Kijiji na ito angesha hii. About seven the cause of the swine flu is yet to be established since it's not an isolated case. In 2020, the area witnessed a similar outbreak. Some of the patients have displayed symptoms ranging from coughing, wheezing, fever, chest pains, headache and runny nose. The main symptoms reported in the Elementaita case were cough at 56.6%, wheezing at 22.1%, and fever at 8.8%. It is at this health center in Kiptangwani, Gilgil sub-county, where the first case of swine flu was reported on the 27th of July this year. Three weeks later, 142 cases have been reported, with health officials saying children under the age of five are the most affected. Uh, kuzuia ugonjwa huu ni kuhakikisha kwamba tuna hifadhi hali ya usafi wa mazingira, kuhakikisha kwamba ventilation katika makazi yetu imeweza kuimarika na lishe bora. Uh, yule mtoto mmoja ambaye aliaga kutoka ana na, na homa hii alikuwa na utapia mlo, alikuwa na hali yake ya nutrition ilikuwa chini na tunahimiza kwamba tuweze ku wananchi wetu waweze kuzingatia lishe bora. The elderly too and people with underlying conditions such as diabetes, blood pressure and even pregnant women are at a risk of contracting the flu. Doctors say some of the patients are placed on oxygen for a few hours as admissions last for five to seven days before patients can be discharged. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV.